Two cups of tea and a f***ing dream, baby. Yeah! So, welcome to the potato field. As you can see, those farming folk among us can see that I'm up to there to here now. We are getting there. Me and Grumpy Granddad are out here. Probably just on 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, coming up in today's video, I think we're going to be lifting. I've got a special guest coming to uh, drive the tractor around with me. So keep watching for that. See what we get up to. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm gonna try and do my best to film whilst farming and suffering still with a spot of man flu. You know what man flu is like. The number one killer in all men. Worse than giving birth. Load one and two, coming off the field. Happy days. As you can tell, we ain't got a lot left. Uh, I've got five beds this side and three beds the other side and one little headland to do. We we're all over it. We're going to try and get everything lifted today. The talk of rain coming tonight. Uh, it'd be great if Grumpy Granddad could get him in the trailer. He's all over the place. I don't know why, but um, one minute he's right at the front, next minute he's right at the back. So uh, I think he's eating his banana. Hey, Fenlanders, how are you? I'm Anna. Most of you know me anyway. I am just going to go find out where Dad and Daniel are. I think they are now getting up the last few trailer loads of potatoes and then harvest will be finished so I thought I'd take you guys along with me in the truck yeah we'll go find out what they're up to what they're doing and get an update cool so I just had a nice little order dropped off and got myself a new hat so yeah quite like it I love a pom-pom I just really wanted one Daniel's got one and I needed a hat so yeah if you guys want to check out any of our merchandise it's on our Etsy shop which you will find in the link in our description to check it all out. We've got loads of bits on there now. So yeah, mum's been out grading this morning, been doing a little bit around the farm with dad. I haven't been able to get out and do any filming until now just because it's a teacher training day and both my little ones are off. So I, this is the first time I've been able to get out today and do some filming. Here we are guys, at the field. As I was driving along, it sounded like some rattling in the back there. I noticed. And you might be expecting a, a really fun night at some point. Here we are. We're still harvesting. So nearly finished though, look. There. So you can't teach an old dog new no tricks. potatoes in a trailer. <laughs> no grumpy granddads have been harmed in the making of this film. Oh no. well, yeah, anyway. Have you told the listeners who the special guest um, trailer driver is today then? No. You'll have to wait and see. Who is our special guest trailer driver? But you'll have to wait and see as well. Is it me? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not me. No? No, I'm not doing it. Huh? I'm not doing it. You're going to have a go. Nah. I've got two ways then. But... So you can talk to each of us. What, so I can scream? Oh, I don't want to do really it! Mom. I don't want to do it! Going back to Granddad, if yeah. we ever did something wrong, he would literally blow his load and like, he'd like something really deadly really good. Yeah, if, yeah, no, if, no, no, no. if we did something wrong, he... That's where our sister came from! <laughs> he would literally go absolutely crazy. Uh, but if he does something wrong, he's like, oh, what'd you do that for? Yeah, yeah, it's like, all your fault. Yeah, he'd literally try and blame us. Yeah, so we're nearly done. We have got now, this is five beds. Okay. And what are you going to do after that? You'll be twiddling your thumbs, won't you? Going to the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for a cocktail fishing trip. If you like pina coladas, I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I've got, I got 400 acres of drilling to do and then I've got like 200 tonne left over in a spare store. So on a, on a lower note, Dad's rung up like some of the wheat buyers today and the, the, wheat, the price of wheat's going up. So everyone, everyone ring your wheat dealer. I am all messed up with the time change. I don't like it. You are stuck with the what? The time change. Yeah, the time change. Oh yeah, Dad showered at me this morning and said the time's not changed. Do you know that? Not till we finish potatoes. <laughs> Make our own time here. I thought that I thought the whole daylight saving things was for farmers. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but I mean. But not this farmer. No, uh, not this farmer. Well, the trouble is, you get up at seven and it's already been daylight for uh, an, like hour an hour. An hour, yeah. Yeah. Hour, yeah. So uh, rather than getting up at seven, we've just been getting up like half five, cracking on. 
So me and you can come straight back and get another load. And you can learn how to do this. It just looks really terrifying, I'm not going to lie. It's not, it's not. Alright. I mean, if I can do it with next to the combine, I'm sure... Yeah. This is, this will be okay, because... This is even slower, isn't it? Yeah. See where he's just keeping them, he's not letting them fall too far. He's letting them, keeping them on the down, down slope. So they're not going very far to yeah, be so able to be Yeah, so they're not falling. You only stuff. want to drop them about six inches, any more than that, and they could start damaging them. I mean, they're going a fair bit there, but... They'll damage real easy, you know, so... So am I going to learn how to drive... A tractor. A tractor next to the harvester today? Yeah. Just walk you through it, because I've right. got, got two way here, and I'll just talk you through it. All right, OK. I'll, I'll give it a whirl. You've just got to listen to me, and if you don't listen to me, then I'll sack you. Well, I'm not getting paid, so... Still sacked. I think I need to speak to HR already. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I am HR. <laughs> I'm HR, I'm managing director, I am farmer. Yeah. Right, let's go. Where are we going? Back to the yard. Oh. Not gonna lie, I won't miss walking over these fields. You only got little legs. I know. You? I'm like a dash hound over here. Jeez. How's everyone getting on with their spuds? Are they keeping all right in store? Are you finished lifting yet? Do they look okay? Have you pushed the price up yet? No. I, I ate my banana. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized I had one for breakfast. I've had two bananas today. A bit overload on the potassium. Yeah, isn't it? no sleeping for you later then. <laughs> we spoke to the wheat dealers earlier and they, um, they're desperate for some uh, million wheat. As you'll now see how much we've got left in store when you get out. How much wheat we got left in store? trailer dropped off. Yeah, that one, uh, didn't, I don't know what's happened. The, the uh, rubber around our, our grader uh, disintegrated a little bit. And um, that one, then, when you tip it in, loads of taters fall out of the grader. Oh, OK. So, um, That's annoying. Uh, that always Ooh. used to be our best, um, our best trailer for that issue. So yeah, I just dropped that one off in the shed. I got a real big one at the yard. And uh, I'll put that on now, I'll put our Western back on, our Western, Richard Western trailer back on now and uh, then we can um, go and load that up and I'll um, get the little red McCormick, the AS trailer on and we'll load that up and put that in the farm as well. Right, okay, cool. So everything kind of on trailers. I might have to grade these two big trailers through and then load them up again, if that makes sense. Will that be today? Yeah, it'll be today, yeah. There's a talk of rain tonight, so I want to get everything lifted today if I can. Busy day. Yeah, there's only four more loads on the field at, at, at best, you know, so three loads probably. <laughs> I said three loads a minute ago. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah. There is four and a half beds there, and I'm only getting like a bed and a quarter, so that means I'm going up the field and like a quarter of the way back down. Right. For a 16 ton trailer. Is that good or not good? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Really that's good. All right. Yeah. It means we've got about 30 ton an acre. So, as most of you know, I'm not a farmer, Daniel's a farmer, so quite often he will say something and I'm like, is that, is that good? Is that bad? <laughs> like, what, what? what does that mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm learning, you know, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah, but like last year we had a really disastrous year because the potatoes just never got away, never got up and growing. And we had about 16 ton an acre, so to have like 25 plus is great. Ain't got nothing for you here, mate. You're supposed to be grading spots. Not riding around doing that. Uh, we're, we're filming, and that's yeah. really important. Is it really? What are you filming today? You're going to film Pip. She's more photogenic than Richard. <laughs> <laughs> um, in case I haven't introduced you, this is Richard Pearson, our potato dealer. Yeah. Give us right. a wave. And Pip. And Pip. Pip hanging in there. Just hanging in there. Just hanging in there. Yeah. Is we finished lifting or not? Yeah, we're going to try and get done today. And then Master's load will be ready by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll, we'll probably even do it this afternoon if we get everything on trailers. How many more you got bagged? How many more you got bagged? Um, you got Westmore's there done. Yeah. And then probably like one or two for Masters. Well, that'd be that what you want to do. I need to have a little six there, then green stripe for the week. Wednesday, yeah, no worries. And then 
Yeah, right. we were, like I say, we just we got about four, like three, four loads left on the field. So if I can get everything on trailers to then bucket it down with rain tomorrow, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> nice to see you guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Don't get run over by the sugar beet harvester. So uh, yeah, no, Richard's good. Trying to organise a trip to Holland to go and see Agrico because we're what we're one of the Agrico's top 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 farmers, potato farmers. Um, like the Babylon that we've got, we were the only farm commercial farm in Europe to have them for two years before anybody knew about it, and they chose chose us over everybody else because we're that good. <sighs> um, so you're gonna uh, try and go over to Holland. Yeah, he's going over to Holland at the end of this month. But I, I said we got we got farmers over there, so Boa and uh, Jules, if they're watching, we got farm, YouTube farming friends over there now. What's the plan now? Uh, I'm just we're just gonna go and have um, Docky. 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 Right. Maybe. And then me and you are gonna go get a load while mum and dad push that trailer through. All right, cool. Yeah, and then if you get on a right and they don't sack you, then um, <laughs> we'll go and get another load. <laughs> the thing is, if I do well. You ask me to do it more. If I don't do well, <laughs> you might you might not want me to come and help you anymore. Probably not, no. Yeah, so uh, could go either way. But yeah. see you guys in a bit. Cheers. All right, there you go. I promised you a special guest appearance. <laughs> don't doubt it, I will No, I'm not going to shout at you. No, thank you. On camera, anyway. Yeah, turn the camera off, please. No, I need to scream at you. Right, three loads left on the field and boat. So we'll see how we get on. Keep on crashing. So this is going to be a situation that all I have to do is just literally push a bit of pedal. Yeah. yeah. I'll put you in the low gear so you're alright. Look at that. The whopper in she. Yeah. Ta da. That is ginormous. Ginormous? Ginormous. That yeah. beat looks pretty good as well. No, oh, all I want to do is that now. Because you've had some food? Uh, well, yeah, I've had some food and I'm just um, running around like headless chicken on a Monday morning. Monday afternoon now. More people have bought merchandise, haven't they? Yay! Yay! Go and get yourself a hat, guys. Alright. Ready? Yeah. Where's yours? I ain't got mine on. I I think I got my t shirt on, my printed t shirt. Oh, yeah, you have. We had some more stuff turn up this morning, so... I live in my work clothes, I go out in my work clothes. <laughs> People are like, oh, so you're out in your work clothes again? Like, yeah, I've got loads of them. I sleep in my work clothes, I bath in my work clothes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, my ha it's my happy place. So all you got to do is keep that wheel on top of this roof. Alright. Yeah. Well, like, you've got it now. Yeah. Alright. That's it. Yeah, until I say move over, and then you want to be in here. Alright, like that. I'll come back up here for now. No, you ain't got to do nothing, just put it in forward. Which is where? Yeah, there. So well, that's neutral. Put it in forward. Right. Mm. Go. Yeah. And your throttle's over there. Yeah. So I'll tell you to go faster or slower. And that's... I don't need to touch the clutch, do I? No. No. And then when we get to the end, I I'll tell you... So I don't need to use the clutch at all? No. Do you use farting? I fart, yeah, I could be. And I got then, windy pop. And then just what, what, just in the middle of both of those throttles? No, that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, that one. Yeah. 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 You won't, you won't, you shouldn't need the brake. Right, you need to move the steering wheel like that, right? Alright. Your seat moves forward like, yeah? Yeah, I was going to say, let me, let me do Where's the button? What's that? Yeah, that lever, yeah. Alright, cool, yeah. Wish me luck, guy. Wish you luck? Yeah, wish me luck. So I'm where, not where, about you. where do you want me when you first get started? Where that, do you want the potatoes to hit? Like, where in the trailer? In the front. Just don't worry about the potatoes to start with. You just concentrate on driving the straight line. Just do as I say, right? If I stay away from me, move away from me. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, can you hear me? Is it working? Why is it working? Is it working? I got you, I'm just going for a Alright, cool. Right, okay. Where should I put you? I'm going to put you there. You are on. Okay, cool. Literally just sit as close as I possibly can. There we go. You can see me look like an idiot. Mm. <laughs> it's so short. Oh, I'm cacking my pants. What if I do it right? Uh, I'm not going to do it right. I'm going to do it fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Ooh. 
my tin hat off. What? I didn't hear it. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this! Turn off your gate. Forward. Woohoo! 
got to one end of the field to the other. Now what? <laughs> now, the, now I'm gonna have to turn it. Wait till I get past him and follow me around, alright? I think so. No other. Follow him behind me. Don't be scared to put your foot all the way down on the throttle, alright? If you're not caught up with me, then that's fine. Remember, it's a tractor, it will rev flat out all day long, alright? Alright. Oh. Try and keep up, try and keep up. Am I in the right ridge? Yeah, you're in the right ridge, I just uh, nailed the throttle a little bit. There, yeah, it's perfect. What more can you ask for? Woohoo! Going a little bit faster, Anna. Better? Yeah, probably just these off, yeah, let me just make it. Oh. <laughs> I've got my concentration face on. I think it's just so worrying because if all the, like, if you get it wrong and all the potatoes fall out, it's like all Dad and Daniel's hard work on going out and getting bruised. I don't want that, so I guess it is a lot of pressure, but it's alright. Daniel said, just do as I say and it'll be fine. Be alright, you'll be fine. So, doing alright so far. Are you looking behind you, Lacey? No. What's the screen? I'm going forward, are you? Yes. <laughs> I pretty much don't move. You probably go a bit faster if you want to manage it a little bit. Bit of a fine art, this tractor driving, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little bit. You have to just uh, fine tune your speed with my speed, alright? I'll do my best. I'm hoping Dad's going to get here in a minute with a tractor and trailer to swap with me. I'm hoping Daniel's not expecting me to take this back to the farm on the road. Oh well, just another hurdle. Something else to learn, isn't it? I feel like I'm one of these people that just learns by doing things, so... If you tell me how to do something, I'm probably not going to learn it too well. If I read how to do something, I'm probably not going to learn it. So I've just kind of got to, like, do it. And then I'll learn it. Sometimes that's the best way to do it, is it just be like thrown in the deep end. It's quite good fun, quite enjoying it actually. Am I doing alright? Yeah, you're doing good, you have come closer to me though. Move away a little bit. Oh. No treat. You really have to pay you. Nah, that's alright. Just don't shout at me and I'll be fine. Keep shouting at you. Just don't shout at me and I'll be fine. <laughs> you know like when dad shouts at mum and then she turns into like a fumbly mess and don't get anything right that's what I'd be like, like eh, I can't do it right or I'd go the opposite and just try to piss you off on purpose <laughs> there is just no telling which part of my personality would come out if you shout at me it makes a good view <laughs> yeah I'm like the seven dwarfs all rolled into one dad comes back down here and finds us trying to kill each other with hands <laughs> yeah. She threw a potato at me first. I swear the ridge keeps moving. Uh, I the field to wobble around. So, <laughs> you off. Yeah. Take this hat off. Too hot. Excuse my hat here. I told Daniel I'd come out and do some tractor driving because I do want to learn how to do things a bit more. You know, I'm on the farm more now, so I might as well at least be able to drive a tractor. It makes sense. Get ready to stop and stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. You know, a little McCormick for you now. Yay! There's only one more bed over here, so if you follow me on, Anna, we'll just um, put some more on that one. Alright. You want to go right out to the outside of the field, Anna. Go right out to the outside of the field, right? Okay? The other outside of the field, to your left. Okay. What? To the left of you? I'm confused. Do you want me to follow you? Yeah, if you come and swing in now, what I'm saying is, if you got a trailer on, you want to head to the outside of the field when you come off that end. And swing in, you know, when you're up. Okay. Alright. Swing in now. Swing in now. Swing in now. Alright, sorry. Oh, not giving myself much space. Yeah, as hard as you like, Anna. Put your foot on the throttle. That's right. it. Anna. I forget the trailer's there. Other than that. that Alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to get you to move and swing out. Keep going straight when you pull out on the end. Keep going 
Yeah, big white spin. Got it, I went Mama's like, don't you dare hit that harvester. Don't Stop. hit the harvester. I was just like, Mum, I'm already panicking it off. Back off a little bit. Oh, there you go. No, that'd be, that'd be right. fine. Okay. Yeah, Mama's like, panicking me. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed Anna's first uh, load off the field. Now we're going to do another one. We're going to do another one, but I don't know. Yeah, get it up. How are you? Yes, maybe the drain. I think it's done. Oh, that was crap, that I've got today on my computer start editing the video for you guys to watch dad and Daniel are gonna go get I uh, think probably one more load from the field yeah had fun tractor driving it was good enjoyed it cacked my pants a bit but you know what it, it was good it was good fun I feel like if I'm on the farm more often I should just know how to do certain things so tractor driving is kind of one of those things which I feel like I built it up to be way scarier than it actually is. Enjoyed it, enjoyed it, enjoyed it. So hopefully can have a bit more time learning how to drive a tractor another day. Um, that's if you guys want me to be on film and on the farm more often that is. Um, let me know if, if that's something you want to see me driving a tractor more often. Let me know in the comments. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think. Enjoy the rest of the video. See you guys soon. Bye. Giant hands. Right on, boys and girls. This could be it. I hope this is our last little trip to the field. Got their 6190R and the Richard Weston on. Ready to rip it. They look like we're going to get some rain tonight, so we're just uh, in a rush to try and do these last two rows, last two beds. So four rows. Uh, we're taking two trailers just in case. Yeah, so we really want to get done. Really, really, really be nice to get finished. Yeah, 6170R is very nearly out of, um, very nearly out of um, fuel. It's gonna be dark. First load we've lifted in the dark, and it'll be the last one. Uh, come on. 
Let's go. Let's go at it. You can see Grumpy Grand down there as well, look. There's quite a lot going on, really. You would think it would just be plonk the field, harvester in a field and off you go, but it's um, just fine tuning, like with the elevator and um, moving my shear from side to side as well a little bit. Sometimes Dad, um, Grumpy Granddad, wanders a little bit when he's moulding up. Speed as well. Now I've got somebody here that can keep with me, you know, it's just uh, I can just fine tune my speed with a Vario gearbox in this thing. I can just go up like 0.1 of a kilometer an hour and just fine tune my speed nicely sometimes the potatoes try and push out the side of the ridges like I've got going on there so I just um, I move my shear over a little bit just to try and avoid that sometimes my shear my Diablo my bells whatever you want to call them what do you call them I call them Diablos sometimes they're just stalling a little bit on the top of the soil because there's no friction on it um, and uh, that then starts pressurise and lift the shear out of the ground so I have to just concentrate on that as well. You very rarely have to worry about going forward with the harvester, you have to worry about what's going on behind you because uh, the, the skinny wheels are in the in the ridge in the moulded up by like, either side of the moulded up ridge so they don't tend to they don't tend to wander out too much. Not on our soil anyway. One more end to go one more end to go see Grumpy Granddad there he is and look at this look we're all done yay that is our last bit of end, and we are finished. That is the end of our uh, potato harvesting, folks. We are done. We're just going to run the uh, run the harvester home just in time for the rain, and my elevator is still square. Yay! So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you give us a subscribe, leave us a comment, say hello, tell me what you've been up to, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Thank you.